welcome back to the channel. So it is about that time of year that I like to kind of go through all of the things that I have in my room and kind of spring clean out a little bit just because I get an excess amount of things that I don't ever touch, wear, use, mess with, ever after I get it. I get it for one purpose and then I never use it again. So I need to get rid of all that stuff. I also haven't actually like really deep cleaned my room in a hot minute because I've gotten so busy and just was not really in the mental headspace um, for a while to do so. So I'm going to do that today. Do a little clean with me, spring clean out thing. I want to get started mainly with just like cleaning everything, getting my floor picked up, getting the dust cleaned up from everywhere. And then after that, we can start going through things I need to get rid of. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily Harless. I am a junior at a small college in Indiana called Ball State University. I love video making, it's one of my passions, so if you like me and want to help kind of move along that goal, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning things. And the first thing I'm gonna do is my makeup brushes because, I mean, frankly, they're just, they're really gross. I think I'm gonna stop for tonight because it's starting to get a little bit late. So I've done all the physical cleaning now, like all of my things, like floors look nice and mopped, windows are clean, all my surfaces are like wiped down. And then like my bathroom looks super clean. Like this is probably some of the cleanest it's been. It smells really good. So yeah. But anyways, I'm going to stop for tonight and um, come back later to do the actual like Marie kondo sort of getting rid of like things for the spring cleaning portion. Hey guys, so it is a couple of days later and I don't have a ton of time to do this before I have to head to class, but I want to start decluttering my clothing that I have, the items that I have, kind of Marie Kondo all of that stuff just because I have a lot of things that I don't wear or just need to get rid of in general. So I'm going to do that a little bit while I have some time to do so, just a little bit of time. So we'll see what I can get done. Yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with the Marie Kondo method, I kind of put like a little like video explaining it in the description down below. So like make sure to check that out. It makes kind of figuring out what you want to get rid of and organizing a lot easier. There's also a book if you want to get like even more information about it. She has a book that she wrote, so check that out as well. Um, I don't have it. I need to get it. But anyways, I have about like 20 minutes to start kind of like pulling things out and going through them a little bit. So I'm going to do my lovely dresser that's right there and um, start with those clothing items. Essentially what I'm gonna do, if you don't really know what it is, I'll give you like a brief synopsis of the Marie Kondo sort of method. So essentially, for example, this is my pants drawer that I just opened. You would take something out and be like, yeah, this item, when I touch it, sparks joy or doesn't. And if it doesn't, you're supposed to try to get rid of it. And then obviously things that I know won't fit, obviously I'll be getting rid of and donating. So 
so the drawers are done and yes I'm watching the live action Beauty and the Beast but drawers are done and cleaned out these are things that I'm gonna take like back to my dad's house I don't want to donate them because I say my name on the back so I'm gonna just take them to my dad's house maybe my sibling can wear them now um, that is all the stuff just out of the drawers that I'm going to be donating so ton of things that I'm gonna be donating um, I have a couple things on the desk that I'm gonna be putting elsewhere for other people like to give to specific people but like look at this like my drawers used to get stuck like I don't know if you saw when I opened this one but it used to like get snagged and now it doesn't get snagged when it opens anymore beautiful time but the other big thing to work on now is the closet so this is kind of what the closet looks like now I have a ton of clothes some in here that I know I 100% just don't wear and like it's literally like back to back like I can barely move it over to like see what shirts I'm looking at so I definitely need to downsize I also have these plastic hangers on some clothing items and I want to try to get rid of the plastic hangers as much as I can so I have like these ones that are more sturdy because I, I frequently break and lose the plastic ones so yeah either way I am going to start going through the closet and taking out things that once again don't bring me joy or I know that I just simply don't wear Okay, so that took me about like 10 minutes and I feel like just showing you like this, it doesn't look that different. Like they definitely move around a lot easier. Like I have much more room on each little shelf, but it doesn't look that different until I turn around and show you all the stuff I pulled out of the closet. So not nearly as much or maybe just about as equal as the drawers but to be fair I could probably pull out a little bit more I still have like a ton of clothes in here that I wear like once a year maybe or like almost not at all just because my style now has become much more like items like for example like this like just very neutral um sort of like things and then I also have like things like t-shirts from concerts or whatever that I don't really wear either way I've downsized it a lot um, gotten rid of a lot of things which will allow me to get more things now that are actually my style but closets done so the next thing to do is just to get all this off my floor I'm gonna put it in a bag that I'm gonna donate with the clothes and then under here I have like some swimsuits and things to go through to see what I want to donate through that. So, gonna go ahead and get started on doing that. least so I've gotten everything if you haven't seen already I have gotten all of that bagged up I have three bags that I'm also donating with the clothes yes that is a DoorDash bag however there's really like one final task that I want to do pretty much everything like drawer wise out there is cleaned um, under my bed I just cleaned out um, like all the bags and things and rearranged so everything actually still fit under my bed but the very very last thing to do no, it's not shoes because I consistently go through my shoes when I buy a new pair. It's cleaning out makeup. I have a ton of makeup that is just like old and nasty and gross and frankly just needs to be gotten rid of. So I'm going to be going through that, throwing it in the trash, and then 
loading everything up in my car and we'll be good to go. Cleaning is done. All items to donate are in the back of my car. A couple of things are gonna be thrown into a bag to take back to my parents or like back to my friend. And a couple of things over there to put in a tote in my basement. But other than that, everything is done. Um, I love this time of year. I love spring cleaning. I love getting out all the clutter and like things that I don't need that really just take up a lot of space and kind of stress me out. So this has been a very like cleansing, healing video for me. It's also when I was able to Fortunately spend more time on for you guys. Hopefully I can get back into making more videos that I am proud of Like this one But either way, I hope that you guys also liked it if you did make sure to hit the like button down below Comment do you guys do spring cleaning? How do you do like how do you do it? What are your steps things like that? I Do respond to every single comment you can also DM me on any of my social medias. I respond to those as well and other than that, that is it for me. If you like me, go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to be posting a lot better content now that I'm putting much more of my effort in and dividing up my time a lot better as the semester is about halfway and coming to a close. So once again, that is it for me this week. Make sure to tune in next Friday for a new video.